Let's start in 1 Corinthians. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. I feel as though I'm standing on holy ground today. This is one of the most profound words God has ever given to me. First Corinthians chapter 6. And I'm going to just begin. Where can I begin? Let's go to verse 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that the one who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two will become one flesh. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. Just lay aside the prostitute for a minute. What God is saying is that when you sin against God with the temple... It is going to be broken into pieces and sent into exile. Okay, let's read on. Verse 17. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Now watch verse 19. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You are bought with a price. Watch this. So glorify God with your body. Everyone got that? Okay, let's go to Ezra. E-Z-R-A, Ezra, e Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, just giving you a little background there. It immediately follows Second Chronicles, for those of you that are struggling. Ezra, I want you to find the book of Ezra, very important, it's a short book. Now remember, the temple built by Solomon, and I'm going to show you this in a minute, had been raised to the ground, physically, literally. The temple collapsed. It was overrun. Listen to this. Ezra chapter 1 and verse 1. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom. And just in case anyone missed it, he also put it in writing. Thus says Cyrus, the king of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and he has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you of all his people, may his God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, watch this, and rebuild. Somebody listening today, your life is about to be rebuilt. It's going to happen. If you meet God on God's terms, it's going to happen. has charged me, watch this, 
Let him go up and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor, by the way, people who have had their lives shattered are survivors. In whatever place he sojourns, be assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, beside freewill offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the heads of the fathers of the house of Judah and Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God had stirred to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem. And all who were about them aided them with vessels of silver and gold, with goods, with beasts, with costly wares, and beside all that was freely offered. By the way, how's your giving, church? You tithing? You giving free will to the Lord? 